such a huge event, such a huge franchise. I mean, what's it been like for you as writers to be involved in such a big franchise? It's surreal. I mean, it, you know, you give two years of your life to it and you think about this day and you dream about this day and it comes and you can't believe it and we're so happy to be here. It's great. Because you guys have been part of this writer's room that Michael's set up where obviously you're going to have spin-offs and everything else. How has it kind of been in with all those other writers and kind of spitballing ideas for where the franchise can go? Uh, it was it was great because, uh, you know, we're writers. We're usually in like a dark room by ourselves. So we got to work with other people and have fun and, and actually everyone worked well with others and no one killed each other like <laughs> male gerbils in a cage so weird takeover I'm sorry <laughs> so gerbils, yeah, gerbils in a cage, in a cage. Uh, okay. no it was great it, you know it, again to really get to see other people how other people work and to, and to have all those processes come together was something very unique we had I had never done it before I don't think any of us had done it before and then ultimately Art, Ken and I went on to work on the script with Michael directly which was just I think a highlight of all our careers to be able to yeah. work with a director like Michael and to be able to work together again you know sort of developing uh, a script in a way that we, we had to all come together and kind of figure out a way to do it and I, we really did it was great. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong but I read that Michael had said that him and Steven Spielberg picked kind of two ideas and you kind of fused them together is that am I wrong with that or I think I read that somewhere. Yeah those were two ideas that were developed in the writers room Ken was uh, in we had the knights sort of angle, the Arthurian tale, and Matt and I were involved with sort of a World War II sort of thing, which we incorporated into Bumblebee's uh, backstory. Does it give you much license, him and obviously Steven Spielberg as well, to be as big as you can get, make make the movie yeah, as big and as expensive no as you can rules. get? Go, go big, do it. We're trying to outdo what he did last time, which seemed impossible two years ago, but he did it. He's even bigger. It's an even bigger, more spectacular movie than the last one. So. But I remember he said. You guys write expensive, man. You guys write expensive. <laughs> <laughs> perfect, perfect job. So in terms of the, the franchise, obviously you've got these spin-offs and everything else. How much are you involved in? Are you more involved with part six, part seven, or are you with the spin-offs, or is it just a case of you're just in the mix from everything? Uh, we'll, we'll see where it goes. Yeah. Uh, you know, we, we had a good time on this one, and if we are so lucky to be able to come back, then I think we would welcome it. And believe me when I say there has not been time to think about the other ones. <laughs> we had our hands full with this. Yeah, no, yeah. Time. no time. And obviously I've, I've, we've heard that uh, Bumblebee's on the horizon, Hayley yes. Steinfeld's part, a part of that. Uh, do you know when that one's kind of getting going and have you guys been involved in that or has it just been a big kind of creative premise? It's the next big thing um, and that was uh, written by a great writer, Christina Hodson. Um, and I think that's a, it's a, really to do a character story with Bumblebee who I think is one of the most beloved characters, really smart idea. Uh, a couple other I, things I think are in the works, but can't say exactly which ones will go next. Just finally, in terms of the film itself, I mean, when you write it and you make these expansive ideas, when you see it on the big screen, I mean, I bet you couldn't even think it would be as expansive and as big as it is. It's so awesome to write something on the page and see it in black and white and then see what Michael does to it, because you know when you're seeing a Michael Bay movie and to see your own writing up there represented that way, you're like, wow, I'm pretty cool, but it, it's really him, you know? It's, it's a dream to see that, that representation on screen. It's awesome. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys! Hey, you guys, huh? Hey, you guys, is that yeah. from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey, you guys!